The construction of Pattaya's Bali High Pier some years back has made the area a great destination for boat trips away and activities by the water. And on the roadway to the bay, a very popular go-kart track has been added to the amenities of this part of Pattaya. Sunday morning at the Easy Kart track in Pattaya, where a lot of karting enthusiasts are lining up just for a practice run at first because a little later this morning they'll be getting underway in uh, one of the occasional Grand Prix races that they have here at this very agreeable and well laid out track in Pattaya. We'll see them take off in just a moment, testing themselves out for their weights and their various handicaps and then the big race a little bit later. I'll talk to Peter Klein, the founder of Easy Kart, in just a moment. So uh, this is sort of working up to the big moment when they'll be uh, actually racing in the Grand Prix. Yes. So the Grand Prix is going on later. It's a Grand Prix race. The Grand Prix race is actually two heats, one heat of 10 minutes, another heat of 20 minutes that we are seeing today. And um, the Grand Prix race is really, it determines on the best lap. Depends how you drive. You really have to push it very fast. You have to overtake a lot of people and everything. It depends how you are qualifying. And it is really amazing how we see that all the cards are really very equal and we are very happy to have a good well, How do you keep them equal like that? Um, we have a very good maintenance team. We have approximately seven people working all around the clock on our cards. And we do the best, I would say, in Thailand and in Asia to keep our cards really in very good shape. Everyone knows the drill here. They're all experienced drivers with a love of competitive go-karting and so they assemble to see how the draw for the cart goes. Actually, there's still room for organizational innovation at this point, as the drivers will soon discover. We've seen the qualifiers and the coordinator Byron Bishop can probably tell me, how, how do you sort of keep the, the game a level playing field for all the different drivers? Ah, good question, good question, because um, here at Easy Car, the cars are not personal carts. They're, um, they're all set up by a train mechanic, and we try as, as much as possible to keep the cars identical. But as uh, most people would probably know, it's pretty impossible to get the cars absolutely identical. And at the level that these drivers are getting, they're getting pretty good, so just a slight difference makes pretty big of an advantage. So what we do is we have a qualifying, but we have a lucky draw to see which car goes to which person. And because today is for fun, we can like kind of play around with it a little bit. What we just we just did was nobody knew whoever qualified first actually had last choice at choosing their car. So whoever qualified last got to pick their car. So you know we kind of filtered out who, who who's uh, who's been paying attention, who kind of knows which car has a little bit of an advantage, and the slowest qualifier got to choose hopefully the fastest car. I see. And there'd be no protests over that. Uh, you know all these guys drive together a lot and they yeah. just uh, want to have an excuse to come out and uh, race each other and see how they fare. So uh, most of the guys, they're pretty happy with that and they all had a big smile on their face when they found that out. So uh, we're going to see how it goes. It's the first from, time we've actually tried that. Uh, from a uh, sort of safety point of view, uh, what do they have, do they have to wear a particular uniform or can they just turn up and drive? Well, for today, I mean, typically, usually you, you have to wear a, a suit. But mm. here, I mean, people drive here without the suits. It's, it's up to them. Uh, the level of the safety here is still quite high. I mean, you have to wear a helmet, you have to have shoes. A lot of people wear their gloves and such. But I mean, this track is designed for somebody to arrive and drive. I mean, the track is really safe, and I don't think the track has ever had a serious injury. Um, I mean, you can you can have a little kind of banged up ribs or something if you if you crash into the to the, to the side barrier or something like that. But these guys, they're all good drivers, and uh, 
I don't think there's going to be any problem with safety. I mean, they're out here just to have a good time, and I think that's what's going to happen. Remembering that the morning races are just the early stages of today's Grand Prix, you have to be impressed with the determination and concentration of these carters. Most are enthusiasts who fitted in with their professional lives. Are you sending instructions or just cheering? <laughs> both. You can say both, yeah. Mostly cheering. <laughs> uh, who do you know out there? It's my husband, the one who's in the first right now. <laughs> he's in the front. That's fantastic, isn't yes. it? Yes. Is he normally that good? Well, he's been getting really good the past few oh, races, excellent. yes. He just started again last year. Right. But he's been racing most, um, most out his life. But, um, but he's been starting professionally this past year. Uh, it's a fantastic looking track, this, isn't it? Does he love this track? Yeah, he loves this track. I mean, he, we come to Paria often, so when we come here, he always wants to come and race here as well. But um, this year he started to race the two strokes, which is a bit faster than these ones at the big circuit, the, yep. the Vera circuit. They have a great um, choice, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> this uh, cornering is uh, worth watching. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, they go yeah. around that fairly hectically. A lot hectically. of things can happen there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So he'll be out there for about how long yeah. in this um, race? This round is about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then there's another group coming on, and then after that it's him again. All right, so they'll really uh, sort them out, won't they? Yes. <laughs> there are many races today, so they have to split them up into groups. Well, but it yeah. looks great. Yeah, he's doing good at Where is he now? Is he still? Yeah, he's number 26. He's number 26 yeah. right in the front. Wow. <laughs> Karting is entertainment, so you need always to see that it's safe entertainment, that it's very good and that people always have something to do and people see that it is really safe. You see how it is right now, they are fighting and fighting, but it's really safe. Somebody twisted out already, spin out, nothing happened, yep. they came in, dropped on the sun, so they do spin out quite a bit on corners, don't they? They get over enthusiastic. Yes, it is like this when you're in a race and somebody only tips you a little bit with mm. the spin off. And only a little bit, you really spin out. Yeah. <laughs> it is really, it's very dramatic on the track and just when you're up front and somebody push you a little bit in the back, then you're out, you lose a lot of places. This is a very good looking track. I guess the drivers like it a lot. Um, the track we really engineered on it approximately two years before we had easy cars standing here in Pattaya. So we've been building for approximately building time was eight months. Um, we are trying right now also to build a new track in Phuket and Samui. So that's a little bit advertising on the side. But we are, I would say right now, the biggest starting to drop out in Asia. So we are doing a lot of things and we really have 38 years experience in go-karting already. And uh, I started with eight years, so the German champion, the European champion, everything too. And that's for me my love, that's my heart, my baby, yeah. what I'm working at. So. Okay. And of course, you wouldn't be making all of this progress if there wasn't a lot of support amongst uh, mostly young guys, but not all young guys, but people who want to drive cars. Exactly. When you see today, we have two different groups. And in the first group, there's really very good competitive guys. The second group is a little bit more guys like me and you, a little bit older, a little bit, let's say, like, settle down age, we have our own business. It might be great. It is a safe way to play. Mm. I imagine that the drivers want a challenge as well as interest, because they're out there for a while, aren't they? They're out for a while, they're driving now 10 minutes and the second heat is 20 minutes. Right now we're having a track, track temperature of approximately 46 degrees already. So the track is cooking, the sun is very hot, the tires are getting hotter and hotter and the next way 20 minutes mm. will be very tough on the machines and on the guys that are driving. Yeah, but, I mean, they've got to like it. Yes, but they love it. These guys, I would say today in the racing, they are losing approximately one to one and a half kilo each person driving. So it's a weight loss program as, yep. as well as a It's a great exercise, sport. better than the gym. <laughs> Come here to Easy Car and play.